What is good YouTube? My name is George. I am here in Tribeca, New York City, and today we are talking about five tricks that are actually pretty easy, but look pretty hard, and they're definitely gonna impress people at the skate park. No hate on these tricks at all. I actually love every single one of them, and they make you look good at skateboarding, even though they're easier than you think. So let's go through them. But first, let's say hello to my friend. Hi. Hey, dog. What's up, man? How you been? I've been good. Chilling. Like Heck in the yeah. club, you know? Yeah, I saw you in the club the other night. Yeah, it's funny that we ran into each other there, just in the club. Is that you? Sort of. It symbolizes me, yes. Hey, I'll say cool. That. Cool, cool, cool. These five tricks are not like totally beginner tricks. There actually is an element of difficulty to them, but if you kind of have your basics down, they're like another step up that isn't too difficult and definitely looks more impressive than it is. And the first trick is the board slide, shove it out. You saw that cocaine you promised? Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were recording. Damn it, John. Ah, oh, that's my George. We had a trick for the vlog. You can feel it in the streets On a day like this day yeah, It feel like summer I feel like summer Dude, yeah! another one first try. <laughs> I know this video is about easy tricks that look hard, but that honestly took me several tries. Woo! It's hot out though, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> Hi. The thing about board slide shove is it's impressive because the board is leaving your feet after a grind. But if you think about it, it's not even really a shove. It's like a 90 degree shove. You can kind of even think about it like a little body burial. That's actually how I do it. It's not so bad. All you need to learn is a board slide first and then you can get this one. The next trick that is easier than it looks is pop shove a tail grab. I'm not gonna lie, this is like a trick I learned when I was super young. I actually find it so freaking easy. Let's do it on the Euro, then I'll tell you why. Pop shove a tail grab. You want it? I can't do it. <laughs> I almost died. What do you think about that trick? I think they're cool. I never tried to learn them because somebody told me they were lame when I was younger. For pop shove it tail grab, I don't even think you need to learn to pop shove it first. It's like I grab the nose with my backhand right away, and then since you're holding onto your board, you can literally place it under your feet, and then only when you feel confident enough to let go, you can just let go while your feet are on the bolts, land, and right away. Super smooth trick, and definitely an easy one that can impress your friends. All right, you look like you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, John, I was wondering. Talk to me. Do you have any tricks in mind that look pretty cool, but they're actually quite easy? I think no comply shoves. I've had multiple people who don't skate be like, whoa, what was that? I'm like, it's a no comply show. They're the easiest things. Hey, perfect. Let's see one. You want one right now? Yeah, I want it. You beast. You absolute savage. Give me You're some. Savage. You're the freak. Mind if I get you in the vlog real quick? Very nice to meet you. Likewise, man. Guys, even though we're doing easy tricks today, I was battling one for John's channel. <laughs> That's right! Dude. God. Feel good? Yeah, it feels good. Dude, first try. Exactly. I'm tired, it's hot as hell, but guys, check this out. That right there is my sticker, and I didn't put it there, it was someone else. <laughs> that also reminds me. Do any of you guys want stickers? Yeah!
epic session at Tribeca. And yeah, so in the video that John Hill is filming today, he's actually talking about my viral scooter video, which is called Why Skaters Hate Scooters. And if I were to go back, I probably wouldn't put that title because I actually have had scooter riders come up to me and be like, yo, so like, do you really hate scooters? And it's definitely putting me into some uncomfortable situations. Obviously, I'm not gonna change the title now because the video is at 3.5 million views. Obviously, the title and thumbnail worked, but I do not hate scooters. I do not even hate little kid scooters who get in your way. I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah, just wanted to say that. John and John, good session with you guys. with John, the no kavai shove is a good one. But I think in general, in the skateboarding community, when you go to a skate park and start popping no complies, the gig is up. We all kind of know that no comply 180 is pretty easy and no comply shove. I find that the no comply pressure flip actually will turn the heads of even some of the best skaters at the skate park. They'll be like, whoa, what was that? And the truth is it's so freaking easy. Yeah, I mean, it is a little bit tricky to figure out at first. You're almost literally just putting your foot here and then making the board roll on the ground just like that in the middle of a no comply. So here's like the motion. It's not hard, it looks pretty hard. Yeah, I'm inside now, I got really hot. <laughs> I did film the rest of the tricks. The next one is backside feeble to backside 50-50. This one does require that you first learn the backside feeble grind, which I'll admit I had a lot of trouble with when I was younger trying to figure out how to lock into the back feeble. But once you can lock into a back feeble, it is extremely easy to lift it into a backside 50-50. This is a sick trick. It will definitely impress people. It looks harder than it is, especially if the person watching you can't back feeble. Definitely impresses people when you do it down something. You can take this one even further by doing a lot of feeble combos like feeble 50, feeble 50. And yeah, it's like the more combos you do, the more impressive it is, but really, once you learn how to lock in, it's kind of no big deal. Okay, the last trick I have for you guys is, this one might surprise you, it is the front side kick flip. This one is the most unique to me, I think, in terms of it being easy, even though it seems hard. For whatever reason, frontside flip clicked like this for me. Here's a clip of me doing one when I was 13. Yeah, I just always had them really good and, but every time I do it in a game of skate, my opponent's like, what the, frontside flip? I can't do frontside flip. It seems like nobody learned frontside flip, I guess. I don't know why. And the way I think about it is literally just like doing a kick flip, but like as if you're curving and then when you catch a 90, you just either pivot it or finish it in the air. I don't know guys, let me know in the comments if frontside flip came naturally to you or if you have trouble with that trick because it, seems really impressive to some people when you can do a frontside flip. So yeah, that's the video guys. I just wanna say if your eyeballs are meeting my eyeballs right now, um, I really appreciate it. Make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment for me letting me know what tricks you find pretty easy that impress your skate friends. Cause I know there's more than five out there. Smash that subscribe. No, but really hit that subscribe button. Video is Monday, Friday. Um, and yeah, the notification bell is very fun to press. It goes ding. Today we are talking about five tricks that 